All right, hello, it's uh, Johnny Natrium and Rob Smith, um, the famous new up and coming. Is that a thing? Famous and up and coming writer. Yeah, famous new and up and coming. <laughs> famous, uh, underrated, undiscovered. Uh, Check out my blog. Yes, uh, at law. I don't have a blog yet. At r slash law. Yeah, <laughs> on the on the Reddit. <laughs> uh, it's a so very yeah. active Reddit. Is it? Yeah, I'm sure it fucking is. A big old community. There's a lot of autists out there. So uh, right. it's Thief Two, the Metal As Age. As you can see, and uh, unless you're blind. <sighs> right, let's see the fucking intro. Reliance upon others is weakness for the strong, but str uh, strength for the weak. Wisdom and balance lie in knowing your own nature over time. I've always equated feelings with getting caught. <laughs> they both get in the way of my money. Unfortunately, not everyone is as committed to their work as I am. I thought it was hot, though. An old associate of mine, Basso the Boxman, wants to marry <laughs> Lady Rumford's chambermaid, Genevieve. And I'm and gonna happily stop ever after. that from happening. Guess prison life spoiled his taste for thievery. For women. Too bad for Basso that Lady Rumford has other plans. Marriage would void Genevieve's indentured service contract, so Rumford is keeping her confined in the estate with the rest of her worldly possessions. Basso has asked for my assistance on getting her out, since infiltration is my specialty. Is that how the poor sod looks? I make it a policy never to take a job so sentimental. But the Rumford Manor could be a lucrative opportunity for a man like me. It would also mean that Basso would owe me a favor. And in this line of work, you can never have too many of those. I'll sneak in after dark and clear a path for Basso so he can rest from his damsel in distress. Along the way, I'll pick up a few souvenirs for the local pawn shops. That should make all this aggravation worthwhile. Otherwise, I'll make Basso wish he was still rotting in Crag's cleft. This Call back. It. Going legit is more trouble than it's worth. Oh, they're doing a train. <laughs> this is the Viking train. Oh. Memories. Uh, so basically, um, actually, yeah, Besso the Boxman, he was in Thief 1 and uh, we freed him from Craig's Cleft Prison. I actually did uh, record and upload that part back in the day. Uh, you had to, like, drag his body around, like, through the whole fucking level. Another, like, objective that was only there in the expert difficulty. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know if you, like, sort of properly caught the briefing there, the contents of it under my murmuring. But, basically, Bessa wants to marry this bitch, and she's like, um, geez, what am I, 14, this bitch? Um, but she's, like, kind of confined by her... Uh, like, what is it even? Like, it's technically her employer, I suppose. But, um, so we, we basically just need to get the damsel out of the mansion. Um, and I need to scout ahead to make sure Basso's route is safe because he's fucking useless. Um, and now, like, look, if I went to normal difficulty, that's... No, it's less objective. Yeah. So, like... Don't kill anyone, um, which is actually something that's usually only in the expert difficulty. Um, but see, so you go to hard and it ramps up a bit. Like they say, like, you know, luckily Basso didn't say anything about not taking Lady Rumford's stuff. Get 300 in loot. So, like, you, you know, need to get a certain amount of loot. And on expert, you need to get 600 in loot, including specifically 200 in gems. Um, oh, and now, because th this is like the first mission, so it is a bit training -y still. In the first game, they had an actual training mission, but this one oh, sort yeah. of suffices for this uh, game. Um, so they're, they're saying, like, score at least eight knockouts, uh, which is something that you never see in the later missions. Nothing is, uh, well, you know, not to mention matter again, but yeah. Oh, Run Jesus. The, the side door for you, Garrett. It's the only good way in. Only good way? 
So then why make such an elaborate front door anyway? <laughs> Stupid front doors. See, oh, see a guard there? Oh yeah. Fucking Oregon. <laughs> I could, I could hear Swing. how you leaned closer. <laughs> Immersion. Yeah, well, you, you're sitting in a kind of an uncomfortable position from what I... Like, I can actually, you're actually in the room with me, like, I can actually see that. So... You wish. <laughs> Good uh, thing the sure. butler's out for the night. He left his lights on. What? what is that Sesame Street noise when you pick stuff up? <laughs> <laughs> Dring! Letter A! But yeah. like... What the fuck does that mean? Like, good, good thing the butler's out for the night. He left the lights on. Like, why is that connected? Like, oh, it's a good thing because he left the lights on or what? Like, and why does he do that anyway? Because he, he's like out getting completely smashed. <laughs> so he needs the, the lights camp. on. Unless he like, you know, otherwise he fucking stumbles over shit. This is pretty interesting. He actually has a bed here, so <laughs> I yeah, guess they, this is. They often live with their masters. Yeah, yeah, but like, it's kind of, yeah, just kind of the placement seems odd somehow. I don't know, or like the lack of other furniture, maybe. Mm, uh, he probably doesn't make much money. Oh, poor guy. Does he? And now oh. you're taking what money he does have. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> Well, he went out, but he didn't take it. So... Maybe it's his savings. Just fucking stacked on the table. Just waiting to... What is that voice? Some creepy guard Some muttering to herself. About, rocks. about what? Rocks. Was she going on about rocks? I didn't actually understand. Grey rocks. But, uh, maybe she was looking at so many grey rocks that that drove her insane. Just uh, cheese. She? Yeah. Oh, cheese! I thought you wanted like, to do with cheese. I guess we could eat it if we're hungry. Or like. What does that do for you? Or do like? Well, it stills your hunger, doesn't? And it makes you fucking fat. That's why England is <laughs> uh, so fucking overweight these days. Um, it's all the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Have you never seen Wallace and Gromit? <laughs> it's water arrow, this cunt. Oh, damn torches. Always sputtering out. Yeah, well, that was don't sputtering. Just make tap over it. Light it up. I lost my tinder Light box. Oh, why don't you do it? I ain't the one Fucking that's Oregon. Am I now? <laughs> Huh. Fuck, oh, he got you there. Huh. Is this the generator room? Guess so. Why do they have torches still then? I guess for heat. All of the light that's being used is like, all of the electrical light is here in the actual generator room. Yeah. It's like completely defeats the purpose. Now, hey, what's actually behind? Yeah, I could. I don't have lock picks yet. And every fucking door is a different lock, apparently. So I could go upstairs as well first. Do I do upstairs or downstairs first? What well, is your actual objective? He's twisted. Yeah, I'm supposed to basically clear a part. Well, I'm also supposed to score eight knockouts, so I guess I can go about knocking these cunts out for one. Um, but I'm supposed to basically clear a path for Basso in order to pick up his lay there, which, you know, seems a bit, you know, <coughs> useless. Like, I could just take her out with me. I, c I could take her out. I could go out with her. Um, but he needs to be the hero. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, she's probably the same fucking girl who, uh, like, 
who uh, approached me about freeing him from prison in the first game. <laughs> Make some strange noises. <laughs> Seamless. Well, that's two. Can you search their bodies? If they have anything on them, but... I didn't see anything behind them. You can already pickpocket them when they're still standing as well. More gold. I th thought I already had 48. Whatever. So we're supposed to get 600, though. Jeez. Uh, including 200 in gems or I don't know if that was 600 gold and 200 gems or it was just 600 treasure yeah probably Les and a flesh bomb that looks like the scanner from Final Fantasy 9 uh, alright contemporary reference kids <laughs> yes we are playing this game in 1999, 2000. Oh, this that's came out at the same time. Final Fantasy IX came out. Well, that's why. That's what I was going for. <laughs> but this game also came out in 2000. So, what ho? Oh, pow! Pickpocket. Except I don't think that counts as a pickpocket now. You knock them out first. Which right? I don't know. Yep. I don't know if I agree Are with that. Here? Uh, just because the radio was on. Do you want to? That's fine. Fondue that cheese. Mm. Oh. I'm You're being stuck. racist now. What? Uh, how's that racist? All these cheese jokes. Oh, <laughs> bad luck to England. Racist. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know it was like. It's pretty French as well, though. Yeah, I thought it was very Dutch. That's where Edam comes from, isn't it? Yeah, and Gouda, or Gouda, as you, like, uncultured swine call it. Gouda? Gouda, yeah. Chowder. No, that's Gouda. Chowder. Well, maybe it's both. Chowder. But, but ch all right. <laughs> Are you stuck? Chowder is a fish stew oh, dish. Okay, I was going to say, it doesn't sound like a brand of cheese, and certainly not a... Uh, Touch one. That looks like basso. Yeah, a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did he do that for? Oh. Is he drunk? <laughs> is that the butler? Is he getting it? Oh, yeah, it's probably the fucking butler who uh, has just come back through the wrong fucking. Door. Yeah, you're gonna put him in the doorway there? Yeah, because it's dark here. <laughs> That's how it works. What if someone steps on him? Well, yeah, that would be bad, but I don't... Don't see anyone walking. Well, right past here. Nope. Um, so... No, I think that's like the... Cook, or the cook's help. Or the butler just came in through the other... Uh, door to like, make it look like he was in the house and had, hadn't <laughs> been gone. Oh, I'm just, you know, dusting off a few things whilst he, uh, on his way. Hop in. I don't think I can, it's too <laughs> narrow. That's what she said. Um, nope. Uh... Garrett's enjoying that a bit too much. Who's enjoying that? Garrett. Oh. <laughs> See, sometimes, uh, there's like... A fire crystal will be in the fire, or uh, water crystals will be in water sources. What are fire and water crystals? Are they crystals of water? And, well, they're elemental crystals, basically, <laughs> that... Was this a dumb waiter? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, they're elemental crystals, and they basically give you arrows of their type. Oh, I see. Moss arrows are quite nice and can be found in. So the Got his key. Shh. He didn't think to uh, look towards the source of that noise. Bloody hell, those are worth so much. 
Oh uh, yeah, well they're gold fucking they're probably plates made of gold. Yeah. Jesus, stop fucking just... What is that walk cycle? <laughs> what is that what? Walk cycle. Yeah. <laughs> he's taking about five steps. Yeah. Maybe he's hoping there's some food coming up. <laughs> but, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come back out here, you taffer! What? <laughs> That's racist. I'm a what? <laughs> You're a taffer, Ari. <laughs> I'm a what? I'll find you soon enough. Uh, I hope you'll give up. I could just reload this save game. Will that affect your final mission score? No, not at all. But I was just going Iron Man. Thing Iron is, Man like, too. after a while he it's might, there. like... I think they do sort of stay on high alert. Alert. Like Splinter Cell. <laughs> this, by the way, is like... So the. You probably know that already, but the surfaces that you walk on really affect the amount of noise that you make. So that shit that... I could jump on this... Like anything that's soft, like moss or, um, you know, earthy stuff, like or carpet, you can basically jump on or like really run on without them really hearing you. Uh, yeah. That's why there's moss areas as well. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, you can like create your own sort of silent surfaces, pretty much. Uh, oh, I actually remember why I needed bo boxman. Um, Cause he eats box, but like. What's it called? Why is he called a box man? Well, I assume box as in Maybe the works in a euphemism box for vagina. That would be too crude. <laughs> Just the box he man. He wouldn't go around by that name. Just the, the pussy man. I don't know. <laughs> Dr. Ass Man. Oh. Uh, no, he's just called Ass Man. Oh, uh, yeah. Which implied that doctor. he's a... Uh, an, a proctologist. proctologist. Thank you. Dunja. Manchmal sehne ich mich nach der Zeit in der... In Are der, you playing on a German version? In the den game? Straßen das Verbrechen regierte, wie der Sheriff so schön sagt. Damals hatten wir auch Angst, Angst, dass uns jemand unseren Beutel stehlen könnte. What the hell? I did not put this on German, no. I wonder if... All the dialogue's been in English. Yeah. Now I wonder if, like, the text is, like, has gone, uh, hmm. Well, then, if that's the case, then I'd need to fucking change that. But for now, I could say, uh, poo. Poo? <laughs> but like well these are usually complicated enough in English is the fucking thing but basically she's saying like she's yearning back to the time I think uh, when she lived in Verbrecken no see capitalization they do that uh, for nouns any noun as well Jesus like, in the streets Das Verbrechen regierte, like ruled, something ruled in the street. Like she yearns back to the time when something ruled in the streets or something. Wie der Sheriff so, so schön sagt, uh, as the sheriff puts so, uh, or always says so nicely. Uh, damals hatten wir auch Angst. So she's also fearful, dass uns jemand unseren Beutel stehlen könnte. könnte. Okay, she's fearful that someone will steal their shit like you when when du zur falschau falschen zeit am falschen ort bist ich frage mich bitte ist ach ich wünschte die alten zeiten kehrten zurück zum teufel mit Troat und seine kumpanen ah okay so she doesn't like Truett, the sheriff and his companions basically his uh, henchmen, 
if you will. Um, and uh, she yearns back to the old times, and uh, and there's something about oh, so maybe or oh, maybe she likes him. Yeah, probably she she probably likes the new sheriff because he's like getting order back to the streets, and she was basically saying that people were stealing their shit all the time. Uh, but I d there might have been something in there that sort of detailed a hiding place where her boyfriend might have hidden some of their stash. So there's a new sheriff in town. Yes, that's a, a fairly important plot point, actually. Is so, he going to be your arch nemesis? Yeah, kind of. Well, that's her door. I guess Basso can open it. He's not much of a sneak, but he can sure handle a lock. So why can't I just bring my fucking lock picks because you're going lock picking at other points in the game Ugh. what is you this in the, you're huh? in the sewage treatment oh just huh? instantly doused it <laughs> lovely <laughs> lovely jubbly be your stash <laughs> my stash of like wasted uh, flares. flares glow sticks <laughs> glow sticks what's that I hey, oh stop right there holy balls fuck Oof. wow i was just <coughs> nice i was still there i was completely somewhat else with me ed can i go around him I, could, I, I wonder if I can surprise him. That can sometimes be fun. Funny. Just punch him in the face. Just like... Yeah, if you're fast enough, you can knock them out from the front, mm -hmm. but usually you can't mm -hmm. knock them out from the front. Hmm? Uh, what the... No. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you basically really take them by surprise, but he's pretty far away. Is someone there? One move and... Ah. No. Ah. Close. Instant Holy death. Holy shit. <laughs> He wrecked you. Yeah. Wow, he was really fast with that sword. I wonder if... If I fucking let Basso come... Well, like we used to do. Um, if uh, he'll run the right way and not just right past him. How closely will he follow you? I think he just runs like some predetermined route. That's no good. Not sure about that. Is someone there? What? Ugh. Oof. Just, I mean, that would work IRL, probably. Yeah. Just out of nowhere, some shadow jumps at you. Thing is, we haven't got all the loot yet or anything, so we still want to walk upstairs at some point. Using the dumb way to seem like a fairly good route, except crawling up, sitting in it. Well, me. Uh, but I might as well just... ...call him over. Is he gonna hear you? I think I might need to be outside, actually. Oh, the butler! <laughs> That's so... Get your fucking lazy ass over there! <laughs> Just munching on some cheese. <laughs> Where is he? You fucking is he deaf? shit. <laughs> the irony giving me a fucking whistle to alert him with. Yo, you fucking shit. <laughs> Burned his house down. <laughs> oh. The archers. Archer. Wait, do you need to get rid of the arches? No, probably not. Uh... <laughs> you flash oh. on him. That didn't do anything. What a useless... Maybe it didn't prime. Oh, you know what? See, I could have used that on that one guard as well, the flash bomb. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh... There you go. Oh, there we go. Just have to literally stand in front of the window. <laughs> And then call it. Yeah.
he gonna run is he going to run the whole way now? Probably. He's a fit lad. <laughs>